Let's look at how to run a Python script from the command line on a Linux machine. Now, each Linux machine is different, so it's not always the same. However, typically you have a couple of different editors. There's a VI, which is available everywhere, and then there's also Nano, which I like a lot. Since VI is available on everything, I'm going to do this in VI. So first, I'm going to create a Hello World program. So I do hello um, dot py as the name of the file. So vi hello dot py. And in order to edit, I have to press I for insert mode. And then you need to tell it the interpreter. So you do hash pound. And it's probably user bin Python or Python 3. So I'll do Python 3. And then I'll do a print hello world like that. And then I have to get out of insert mode. So I press escape. Then I do a colon W for write and Q for quit. That will create my file. I could also use nano to do hello, hello. And I can go in there and type the same thing and then do control X to quit. Now, I don't know if that was the actual interpreter, so I can type in which Python, and you can see it's user bin Python is available, or Python 3, which is user bin Python 3. So this tells you which one will pop up if you run it. Sometimes Python isn't available immediately because it wants you to actually specify if it's Python 3 or Python 2. So you want to make sure you use the name right there, user bin Python 3, and you can see in VI right here, user bin Python 3 is what I had. So that takes care of getting the correct interpreter to actually run. Now do quit right here, colon Q. All right, now the next problem is this is a normal file that is not executable. If I do a directory listing, I can see my hello, Actually, I probably don't need the A, just do right here. I can see that the hello.py is set right here, and it has a read, write, and a read, and a read, but no execute bit set. So I could do a chmod, which changes the mode. I could do a plus X and do hello.py, which will add the execute bit. And I can look at the directory listing again, and you can see that now it has the read, write, execute there. Also, if you can do the binary notations, this would be, um, the first one is a, a, a value of four, this is a value of two, and then a, a value of one for the X. And this would be a value of four plus a value of one, by a four plus a value of one. So I could do this as seven, five, five, as the permissions here. So if I do chmod755 hello.py, that will also set the permissions correctly so that it looks like this. Now, that makes it executable. At this point, I can now run the script if I want to. And the way I do it is I tell it which directory I'm in and run that script. So if I type in pwd, I can see my current directory is home joseph. So I can type in slash home joseph hello.py and that will run it. Also, I can type in period slash, so period is my current working directory, hello.py. The other thing you can do in order to make it run is to get the directory it's in, in your path, which we're not going to do. But if we were to look at my path, I can type in an echo dollar path. You can see that if it is in any of these directories, so slash, home slash joseph slash dot local slash bin it would run or any of these other directories you can see i put in any of those directories and i can run it as well which i'm not going to do typically what you would do is you just do the period slash and the name of the script in order to run it so you can see that's how you run the script you edit it you make it executable and then you tell it your current working directory, so period, slash, and the name of the script in order to run it. So that's how you execute a script on Linux.